Uh, let's continue some of those points then by going live to Oxford and speaking to Professor David Baumforth, a flooding expert, Vice President of the Institution of Civil Engineers. Uh, good afternoon to you. Well, we were hearing there from Howell about the, the need to build more flood barriers. Are we sufficiently protected? Well, I think what the recent events have demonstrated is, is, the, is the good value we get from our investments in flood defences. The, the flooding would have been way more serious had we not had these defences in place. Uh, but, of course, with climate change, we are likely to see more of these events and more severe events in the future. So it's vitally important that we continue to invest in those defences. Are we investing enough? What, what is the state of play with government investment? Is it going up, going down? I, I think where, where we stand at the moment, the, the area where we haven't really done enough work is in the area of um, building the resilience of communities to flooding. What happens then in those communities, how they're supported, and how the uh, impact of that flooding is minimised for them. And how much culpability do house builders have for building homes on floodplains? Well, of course, the, the, the building of homes on floodplains is governed by, by our planning regulations rather than the house builders themselves. Um, and I, I don't think um, there is sufficiently joined up thinking between our planning efforts uh, and our efforts on flood risk management. There is some evidence of a disconnect there. Do you think we're going in the right direction then? In a year or two time when no doubt floods will happen again, will we be better prepared, do you think? I don't think we are treating flooding seriously enough. I don't think we've come to terms with the fact that these sorts of uh, what we call extreme events uh, are likely to be much more frequent in the future. I don't think that's embedded in our thinking and therefore I don't think we're planning sufficiently well uh, about what we might do about that. And as a civil engineer, when you look at the rest of the world, are they taking steps that we're not? Well, certainly uh, many other countries suffer in the same way that, uh, that we suffer. Um, uh, and it's a growing problem for them as it is for us. There, there are one or two notable examples. Um, the Netherlands, understandably, um, are, are investing more because they're more vulnerable to flooding. I, I think they're being a bit more creative about how they build resilience in, in, into their communities. So, for example, making electricity less vulnerable to flooding uh, would be an excellent step forward for us. Professor David Bamford, um, thank you very much indeed for joining us this afternoon. Thank you.